Hi, Raven the Red, and welcome back to the Ruby Guided Book Review. I'm your host, Raven the Red, and yay, that is sweet. Got out the Ruby Guided Book Review. And that's why you're going to be petting this because they're just so super sweet, right? Which is outdated, according to him. And yes, it is outdated. But for this reason, it's outdated. It's so outdated that they couldn't keep Ruby's semblance consistent. They couldn't keep a single thing consistent. And so here's what he had to say. <clears throat> Anytime any book like this is complied. Okay, correction. Correction. Hold on. They probably get some things consistent. Okay? Don't straw man me. I understand that they probably get like a lot of things consistent. <laughs> but but, I, but I, it sounded cool when I thought of it at the moment. So, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, anyways, continue. It's using information that's available to the characters in the world of the show at at that given time. At volume six is given time. That should be canon canonized by now. By the way, right? You would think. You would think that they have got this sorted out. That they got to, okay, we need to keep things consistent, right? Right? Mine is also, mine is, mine is filling in some details about some extraneous characters. Oh, just, just details like, like their age, um, the personality, what they like, what they dislike, uh, you know, important details like that. Or, and not just important details. Oh, they're not technically important details like, oh, we, if we don't have this, so this will be the end of the world. No, no, no. I'm saying like important details when it comes to the fans' love for these characters. You know? You know? <clears throat> Lots of things will be expanded on or even differ over time. Okay, here's the problem with that. That's a two-faced lie. Okay, that is basically, Eddie at this point, at this point, is being a politician for Ruby. <laughs> okay, and here's why. Because when it comes to ex things that should be expanded on or even differ over time, it should be something like hair, style, um... The personality, point of view, stuff, sh sh stupid shit like that uh, should be expanded on or differ over time. Should be the should be something that be in later companion books, right? That's th those are the things that as a fan, I don't necessarily care about but can be expanded on over time. Okay? Like, s stupid shit, like, what, like, if, if, like, Weiss gets a new sword, or if Blake Belladonna gets a new boyfriend, or if Yang, uh, gets a bigger arm, the size of a giant cannon, like Napoleon from Fate, um, <laughs> That shit, that's the shit that should be expanded on or differ over time. Not semblances. Not semblances. Do you hear me, audience? Semblances should not be expanded on or differ over time. If anything, if anything, semblance evolving? Maybe. But what defines their semblance, or what should be the definition of their semblance, 
what should be the name of their semblance, like speed, is not ruby semblance. Speed is not ruby semblance. It is petal burst. According to the canon, or according to what the companion, the official, the official, by the way, official means absolution. <laughs> okay, it doesn't mean absolution, but my point is, official when a fan, let's just say if fans don't read this book, uh, let's say fans uh, haven't read Twitter whatsoever, or don't, you know, they're, they're, they're not out of touch of the fandom per se, but they're also out of touch of Twitter, right? And they're out of touch of, 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 of the Ruby, like they're only here for Ruby, right? Let's just say hypothetically, that they're only part of uh, Rooster Teeth fan base because of Ruby. Uh, they saw Red versus Blue. They s then they're only here for like the cartoons. Okay, they they, they saw Red versus Blue. They saw Camp Camp, uh, and they saw like a few other uh, cartoon shows that um that are uh, relevant and cool and whatnot. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna watch this show called Lank Ruby. I, I guess it sounds cool. Um, I'm gonna pick up the merch. I'm gonna buy them the, 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 the books. I'm gonna buy the DVDs. I'm gonna buy the, the shirts and the pants and the underwear and, and the uh, gem rock stones and the pops and the all, all this other stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna download all the games, despite the fact that some of them are deleted by now. Uh, I'm gonna buy the board game, which I might I might cover in a later video. I, I don't know how that will work, but I will cover it in a uh, possible video. Uh, possible, possible video. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, it, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna do all these things, they get this, this book, they tell their friends all about the, the, what they like about the characters and whatnot, and then they come up to, to, uh, they, they finally meet, like, someone who's more, uh, who's, who is on, uh, who's more involved and who is on Twitter, and they come up and like, oh, hey, uh, what's your favorite part about Ruby Rose? Oh, I like the fact that, um, well, she's red, says the Twitter, uh, Twitter, <laughs> uh, that she has a hood and she's very fast. Well, well, what do you mean by fast? I mean, yeah, she is a bit fast, but what do you mean? Oh, it's a symbol. It's, it's called speed. No, it's called Peter Burst. And then, no, it's called speed. What are you talking about? I, I've, it's actually called, uh, uh, Battle Burst in the book, right? I mean, I've seen the recent volumes. They, they could... I've seen the, the all the volumes and all, all that. I've seen uh, Ruby Volume uh, 8, right? Uh, they're just describing her ability is like speed. <laughs> right? That's what they really mean, right? No, no, it's speed. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, a, a tweet, a, a tweet by the one of the creators. I don't get on Twitter. Sm <laughs> smacks the living shit, <laughs> and then s just starts smacking the living uh, uh, crap out of uh, the guy <laughs> with the book. I don't believe you. <laughs> and and uh, that's, that's just the thing. Fan. Okay, I know that was a funny skit, but the, my point is. Fans don't want to be disappointed by Twitter, okay? Fans don't want to find out stuff by Twitter, okay? Because not everyone's going to be on Twitter. There might be people on Facebook. They may be on uh, Instagram or, or any other social media platform. Heck, they may not even have... They may be like... One of those people are like, eh, I'm not going to get into social media. It, it, I've, or I've seen the world how it is, and I, I see that it's very controversial on the news and whatnot. I'm not going to 
download a Twitter account at all because I think that that, that it's just bad. I don't want to get involved, put, like involved in in a Twitter anything or whatever. I I just don't like what I like uh, about uh, social media. Okay, there's some people who are generally like that, and and when and then when they watch the show. They read the books, and they don't know anything about about what Twitter's going, whatever the, is going on Twitter, right? So, sometimes people just don't get on Twitter, right? And and there's also that those type of people who have like, eh, I'm I'm not, I, I like I'm I'm on Twitter, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna mute Ruby because despite the fact that I like Ruby, I don't want to be spo- potentially spoiled. You know, I'm just completely box myself away from the creators, the, the the official Ruby, whatever, because they tend to the, the official Ruby has weird, has a weird way of spoiling stuff by accident, whether they know it or not. Because there's some people who just don't, uh, uh, who are one video behind Ruby because like the the way ha- they have their uh, uh, service. Uh, is the they produce a video, then the next week that video, the ne- the next video is available, right? That's how they do it, right? Um, and so there's some people who like get on Twitter and then they subscribe to the r- official Ruby um, Twitter, and then they they get spoiled because because they're one episode ahead, they're like, <laughs> and that and then you have to unfollow that. Uh, that the uh, the official uh, Ruby uh, Twitter, cause now you got and see that's why people avoid Twitter because they either don't want to be spoiled by Ruby, or they just don't want to get onto social media because of how uh, toxic it is and how uh, and because of recent uh, events that occurred, right? And I know this is not a recent tweet. No, this is not a recent tweet. You could just look by the at the date and time on the bottom of the screen. Here, December nineteenth, twenty twenty. However, not everyone's gonna see this tweet. This was a reply to Collection. This was a reply. Okay, this is probably one of those tweet tweets that um um uh, uh that he said, "Hey, if you all have any questions, please ask me." And then Collection asked uh. Or some fan asked, and then Collection replied, or or maybe he uh, replied, or maybe Collection asked, or whatever, and so he answered, and so he, this is his answer. Uh, here's a, also another thing, by the way. Not everyone on Twitter who does watch Ruby is going to know who are the creators, because sometimes people are just watching Ruby and just just like okay. Yeah, here's here's this, here's that. Uh, uh, here's my fan artwork. Here's my fan fic. Here's uh, my favorite moment. You know, they're just on Twitter, just talking about Ruby, right? You have those fans who don't know anything about the creators and like, eh, I don't want to. I don't want to get into into uh, into into their their Twitter feed or whatever. You know, the people are just just casually watching Ruby or just you know the casual viewers the casual purchasers and whatnot they, they buy the books and whatnot sometimes sometimes they uh, like something to have official and whatnot so when you have something that says the official companion book okay and I know that the and and I know this is was cool I know this was going to be eventually outdated Okay, but no one said anything about the outdated uh, semblances. Are they now going to just change uh, every other character's semblance? (laughs) The things that should be, and the things that just should be changed over time is their personality, their likes, their dislikes, where they lose another arm, or they lose another shirt, or so, someone dies, okay? 
maybe their age or the the birth you know you know by the way speaking of stuff that should be important like do they even have years in ruby or like like do they have like a calendar system like we do how do what is their calendar system how do we even have a a time frame you know what is the time frame what like how do we even how <laughs> do we even find out do, whether how they f function as a, a society okay that, that's kind of sort of a concerning uh thing in your lore because uh or at least for as a fan it's a bit concerning because in star wars we have like a oh this happened before the battle of yavin right everything before that is uh before yavin time and then uh the X amount of years before the Battle of Yavin. That's how. That's how. Uh, you. Uh, that's how you. You tell the audiences. Oh, this is how old ago. This is how long ago this was, right? And then you have. Um, then you have like events that happen after the Battle of Yavin. Okay. That there's no. Where we need like a fo We need like like a. Like a timeline. I, I, and I think a perfect point of time to pin is uh, the Great War. You, you keep talking about the Great War, but you don't have it as a... Um, it, but you don't have it as a talking, talking point uh, in the show. Or rather, it's just discussed as an event that ha occurred in the world of Remnant, but it's not, not an important uh, factor. It's just not. We don't even have a character that's, that tells Team Ruby, Hey, I was there during the Great War. And then they just start talking about the Great War. <laughs> I'm like, you shouldn't trust this person because I know them during the Great War. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, we don't have any of that. We don't have that sort of stuff. Now, going into a tangent... And I should be talking about the Great War later on. Those are the stuff that should be expanded on in later companion books, right? The stuff like, like information that we should have expanded on, like details that that can be canonized later on, right? You don't take something that's already been canonized. Because this is official, right? The official companion book. When you pick up this book, you're thinking, this is official. What is in this book is official. What is in this book is is going to last for 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 years. Okay? Maybe not important uh, maybe not uh in a, uh not important stuff like does does Yang like does Yang go over like like arcs and whatnot? Like does Yang go over the fact that her arm is still robot arm? You know that sort of stuff. That doesn't matter later on. The official companion book should be defining us what is canon. Okay, it's canon that Ruby likes cookies. It's canon that Weiss uh, hated the Faunus at one point. It's canon that. Uh, at one point, Blake Belladonna hated the humans. It is canon that uh, at one point, Yang liked Junior. I don't. I don't know. There's not much to go on about Yang other than she had a mom problem, and her arm was cut off by Adam. Okay. But anyways, it should that that shit should should be expanded upon the personalities. Their story, you know, that stuff should be expanded time over on. Not their semblances. Now, yes, sure, I'm not saying their semblance can't evolve like Ren did in Volume 8. A uh, bit of a spoiler, uh, maybe. Uh, Ren, Ren's uh, s semblance evolves 
Okay, yeah, fine. It evolved. But Ruby's semblance didn't evolve. Okay? Not... It, it, the name should be still canonical by now. Right? We're talking about the name of the semblance. Or at least, at least the name of the semblance should stay canonical, right? The abilities can change, but it's pedal burst. It's literally pedal burst, not speed. Did you decide to remove the pedals because it was too hard to animate? Or, or, what, what's going on? What's going on? This, lots of things will be expanded on or even differ over time, is bullshit. We're talking about assembles here. For instance, if that book had came out prior to Volume 6, its summary of Salem would have been different because of the eyes didn't have information yet. Okay. Okay, pause. Salem is a mysterious being, you... You... Qu quarantine con... Papa Poopa. I don't know. I don't want to say anything insult too insulting because then they won't listen to me. Because then I will sound like an angry critic, right? And then they'll just ignore ignore it and then just toss this video to the side and like, eh, eh, eh. No, no, I'll just, we'll just ignore it because they call me an insult. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to keep my cool here, right? And I'm sorry for calling a beep bop or whatever I said earlier. <laughs> a quarantine beep bop up or something, I don't know. I said something stupid. But I was because I'm upset, right? I should be upset. I'm a fan, okay? Of <laughs> Ruby. I'm upset that you changed something that's supposed to be already canonized, okay? Salem does not fucking count. Okay? Now I know I haven't covered Ruby Rose. Now I know I haven't covered Ruby Rose, but what about those who ha ha who already who already have? What about them? What about the people who have already made several videos about Ruby Rose and saying, "Oh, it's this. Oh, oh, here's a here's what we know about Ruby Vo Rose in Volume One." Is what we like about Ruby Rose in Volume Two, Three, so on, you know, or or about those who've who've made videos about Weiss or Crow or Raven or Ozpin or Oscar, fifteen minute videos about each and individual character that's in Ruby, including Swy. <laughs> that's a lot of minutes right there. I don't think anyone can make a 15 minute video about every single character in Ruby. Maybe. <laughs> but that's a challenge because there's certain characters in the in the show that, that just there. Uh, they're not, not really that important to the lore. They're just there. Now, now. And, and it would be a challenge, but anyways. Salem is mysterious being, and I can understand why you just have, uh, why you don't want to have too much information about Salem, but just enough, you know, you should have just enough information about Salem for Volume Six and previous, right? And you want to keep that, right? That is something I applaud to you. I applaud to you that you. You keep your mysterious characters mysterious, right? But when, when it comes to characters that we already know, we should already know. By the way, we're volume, we're eight volume, we're eight volumes in, and this book was six volumes in. We should have these characters consistent 
by now, right? Including the name of their semblance, their semblance abilities, and, and, and all that other stuff. We don't even have an indicator that Ruby Rose's uh, semblance evolved. Did it evolve? Okay, maybe. I don't know. They didn't, they didn't explain that. Or they didn't show that. They showed it with Ren in Volume 8. By the way, spoilers. But I don't care at the moment. <laughs> but with Ren's semblance, it was kind of obvious that his semblance evolved right then and there. Because he's like, oh. <laughs> he had that reaction. And it's like, I'm just, my semblance is now I, acting up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's now evolving. Oh. I I honestly, I honestly don't understand the whole point of semblance evolving uh in Ruby because we haven't had any experience with semblances evolving beforehand. Rin uh, Jean's semblance didn't evolve in volume four. It it activated it. Or is it volume five? My bad. Volume five, sorry. John's semblance didn't evolve in volume 5. It was already a thing. I think. Uh, then again, John's semblance is not a very good example of semblances. <laughs> we don't, we, don't, we haven't seen semblances evolve prior to, to John's uh, uh, not Jean's, Ren's, uh, uh, semblance. Okay. And if Jean is a, an example of semblance evolving, that wasn't done well. Okay. I couldn't, I, I don't know if it was, if, if it had evolved or whatnot. Or if it just popped up again. Or did, or was that his semblance review? I feel like his semblance was already revealed in, Volume two or is it three? <laughs> but I feel I need to rewatch Ruby again. But um, I'll do I'll I'll do that in an upcoming uh, playlist, but not right now. <laughs> um, my point is, we don't know. Uh, much about sentences anymore, or at least. Technically, we don't know much. Um, well, technically, we don't know much about semblances at all, a except for that the we've got these people with superpowers and whatnot, right? Rin and and Pira explain it. Uh, explain that some semblances are passive and some semblances are not. Some semblances are based off characters' personality. Some are not, or whatever. I don't know. Can't remember at this point. It's not that relevant, <laughs> or at least it's not. It's not that it semblance. Not my knowledge of semblances didn't stick with me because it didn't feel like it was consistent. S semblances altogether don't feel consistent. Okay, I guess that's the problem with uh, one of the problems with Rui is that semblances are explained. But we don't have like a grasp of what they can or cannot do. And not only that, they apparently can change altogether, canonically. And, and the science of it also didn't make any sense. I'll probably cover that in a later video. But Ruby's new semblance, or whatever you want to call it, the speed semblance that Penny ex explains in Volume Eight, and it apparently defies the laws of gravity and density and mass. I I don't know. I'm not the I'm not Bill Nye the science guy, but I know for a fact that 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 someone explained to me that's not how science works. That's not how I, I could probably cover it 
my own if I decide to look deeper into Ruby's new semblance or her evolved semblance. Does it even count as evolved semblance? Did Ruby just not know how her semblance worked? I mean, yeah, sure. They just said in that same episode that Ruby just found out how uh, her semblance works, despite the fact that it's eight volumes in. Are you kidding me? I are, are you honestly kidding, kidding me that the the person who's wanting to become the huntsman for the rest of her life somehow did not know how her semblance worked. She didn't even bother to train her semblance at all. Seven vol eight to seven freaking nine almost volumes she hasn't trained her semblance she hasn't focused on what her semblance can and cannot do she hasn't figured out what her semblance is the audience <laughs> probably don't ha probably half your audience either a don't care good show pat pat or the other half of the semblance are just Confused as I am. And he also says, see, all, see also Ruby's semblance. If this is, you're literally explaining that you've made a critical error to your book by explaining Ruby's semblance, uh, or at least someone had asked about the companion book if it's even canonical or whatnot. And you're saying, oh, we've we decided to expand upon Ruby's semblance. You're not even doing that. You just basically changed it. It's not an expansion, it's a change. It's a complete change. I could probably I I could probably read it right now, but I want to do that when I get to it. Right now, I'm still in vital. F I, I'm about to do the vital festival, uh, part, of the companion book. But I'm not even into characters yet. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in that section when it comes to the Ruby Guidebook review. When I'm reviewing these videos in order, I will cover. I will cover Ruby's siblings. Again. And I will cover this tweet. This tweet only. Later on. When I get to Ruby. Rose. And her semblance. But only then. We'll come back to this tweet. Later on in the future. Okay. Now as for the next sentence. It gets even more asinine. When you think about Kruby and all this, this this official canyon uh, companion book, it's apparently not official. It should literally have unofficial companion book. It definitely gets tricky balancing a story, cri critical things like that. Yeah, it is critical. It is super critical. Simmonses are super critical when it, it's when fans really are literally trying to figure this out. Like you, you even had like a death battle with her, I think. And you, no, or was it? Was it not a death battle? What was it called? It was a um. Uh, it was like a, a five, like it was like a five minute melee or something. I don't know. I think it was a death battle. I'll probably have to look it up. But like you had a, like a death battle mini video. It, it, I, it was one. It was one of those death battles that are not exactly a death battle, but it's like a mini battle or not a mini battle. It's like a. a I got forgot the what the show is, what the mini show is called, but it's essentially death battle, but like no research. 
uh, DBX, I think. The Death Battle X. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, he's basically now telling me that it's so tricky to keep something consistent despite of how the fact that it's so critical. And when you're trying to tell a story, <laughs> which is why the most brands usually refresh them as time goes on. Haba, <laughs> huh? Yeah, sure, Star Wars refreshes their companion books and their guidebooks and their picture books, uh, picture dictionaries and whatnot. But that's only because after new content has been released, like new new information about the character, more information about the character. They don't go reconning the entire force. <laughs> Or maybe they have. I don't know. I'm not that deep into Star Wars lore. Okay, I, I just know the, that Star Wars is Star Wars. <laughs> Anyways, uh, wait. It's this is also the same thing with the uh, with the uh, uh, Lord of the Rings. Okay, you have an entire guidebook of Lord of the Rings somewhere out there. I'm pretty sure there's a guidebook there, or you have a guidebook of of of, of Link, right? That gets updated because they have a new game. Or the... That's just it. That they only get new lore books out because of more content. Okay? You only get new books out because of more content. And it has to be official. And when you say official, it means it's going to stick. It's, it's going to stick to us. For the rest of our lives, for the rest of our fandom lives, this fandom is so messed up when it comes to its consistent lore. No, it's not the official companion guidebook, or whatever you want to fucking call it. It's the unofficial companion guidebook by Kruby, by, by Daniel Wallace. I don't even know who this Daniel Wallace is. I might do a review of Daniel Wallace. <laughs> but my point is... And I'm sorry if I'm sounding harsh. So loud and harsh. But literally, this is asinine. To call something official. And then you just change it. This is not new content. This is new, this is new canon. Okay? They literally changed something so critical just because of the story. You shouldn't do that. You should wrap the story around the critical points. You should have the things that are critical to your story and consistent. Okay? This is... This is... This is not a... Sh straw pick. This is not a straw pick or whatever you want to call it. This is not cherry picking. This is not a, a, de any details that should be like, okay, this is minor. This is just a minor complaint. But, but then it wasn't, it wasn't this character supposed to be uh, 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 one character versus another. Or uh, like, this per this is their character's personality. Now it's completely changed. Ugh. Okay, don't get me wrong. I... I I agree with some some of the uh, statements, but like, like some of those statements are also nitpick. Like I, I understand, like there are stuff to nitpick about the show, and there's stuff that is so head banging against the wall. It's not just Ruby's semblance that I want to bang my head against the wall that change, right? For the sake of the story. Oh, for the sake of the story. We'll change this. <laughs> and then, and then you, you don't, you don't, you don't up, you haven't update, you haven't make a, you haven't made a, 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 a an updated guidebook. FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's, had updated their guidebook. 
faster than you guys have. Literally, they had had more games and more story, and then they a uh, boom another another guidebook. Like, <laughs> like they gave us two guidebooks. You have only given us one official companion book. Okay, it's official companion book. It's technically a guidebook. It's also technically an unofficial companion guidebook. <sighs> Anyways. Which is my, my, my most brands. You refresh them as time goes on. Blah, blah, blah. The red versus blue equivalent book I wrote is wildly out of date at this point. As it was written with information up to season 13. Yes, but the, the thing is, is that they don't have semblances. <laughs> They're critical. Maybe they, maybe they have something that I might have missed that are critical to, to red versus blue. But there's really nothing that's that critical in red versus blue, in my opinion. Because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a comedy. I, with me, personally, I don't take comedies seriously. Now, I may have to read this Red vs. Blue uh, book. And then, maybe, somewhere on the line, I'll probably do a, a guide, uh, uh, I'll probably do a Red vs. Blue guidebook review. Somewhere down the line. Okay, maybe I might review uh, their book, uh, the Red vs. Blue good, uh, companion book or whatever. I don't know what it's called at this point. But the thing is, is that that's not an excuse. Yes, sure, it's outdated, but that's only because new content is out. Yeah, sure, Ruby guidebook, official guidebook is outdated, but that's because new content is out. But it's also unofficial. You've not only made the companion book, uh, guidebook outdated, which was going to eventually happen with volumes 7 and 8 and 9, right? It was going to eventually happen. That I can understand. But it's not even, like, I could probably go on the, the different problems with the companion book. Like, the lack of uh, world uh, world uh, explanation and whatnot. Uh, world uh, information. And the lo just the lack of information for these characters. But now you just made it unofficial. It's no longer outdated, but now it's unofficial. Yeah, might as well. For all those who, including me, who of all those who spent, like, what, $40? On a big-ass book that's no longer A, canon, and no longer official, but is only here for, like, oh, here's how the authors... Here's how the writers, here's how the animators, here's how the voice actors created this. This is essentially just a, a, the, the, the creation kit of Ruby. Here's how we created Ruby. Blah, 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 blah. Here's our thoughts about these characters. Blah, blah, blah. This is nothing. This is a Ruby. A Ruby book. I might as well rename the entire my entire series from the Ruby uh, guidebook to the Kruby guidebook. And so now my so now so now my videos, or at least the title of my videos, are now uh, outdated. So now, so now I'm gonna have to make another video. Or at least have this video, or yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna at least have this video explaining that now I have to. Uh, if you if you see something in the past few videos, it uh, saying that this was the Ruby guidebook. Guess what, folks? 
it's not a Kruby guy book review. I'm changing it. I'm changing the gears. And I'm gonna have to to make that a video now. Not a thing about it. I'm gonna have to make that a video. Uh I'm gonna have to make a video saying, Well, I'm not gonna have to call this the Kruby guy book review. Actually this is probably what uh what what um this video is gonna end up being called uh, uh or at least about so anyways moving on that's it or at least that's all the tweets that I have if there's any more uh guidebook tweets or Ruby Ruby official campaign. Uh, the, the world of Ruby, the official companion uh, guidebook, or whatever you want to freaking call this thing. If there's any more tweets about this, please let me know. But now don't worry, I will still cover the Ruby, the official, the unofficial companion guidebook. I'll, I'll continue. Uh, my journey and our journey to reading this book and reviewing it, right? I'll continue doing my duty as a as a reviewer. I will review. Well, not I am not an official reviewer, as someone who's reviewing, reviewing and reviewing the this book. I will continue and gladly. Make more videos for the, of this, of this unofficial companion guidebook. Have you all of you have a wonderful, wonderful day? And let's hope that this year, um, this year we'll no longer have any more critical uh, storytelling or critical changes for Ruby. I, I, I hope that 2021 would be the best year for all of you. And, and hopefully for me as well as a content creator. I'm hoping that somewhere down the line I'll be producing more and much better content for all of you to enjoy. Not just Ruby. Uh, coming soon, there'll be much more stuff. Hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.